Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I pretty much just have like a simple style haul video for you guys. So just stuff I recently bought from Amazon and YesStyle. So first I'm just gonna run through the stuff I bought and then I'll just try it on for you guys on camera. The first thing I have from Amazon is this, the Colorgram All-in-One Egg Yolk Cell Maker in the shade Warm Tone. And as you can see it has two different sides, so this is for highlighting and this is for shading. And if you don't know what Egg Yolk Cell is, it's pretty much just this under eye area that people like to highlight to make your eyes look bigger. I really like the formula of this contour pen, so let me swatch it for you guys. So here's the highlighting shade. And here is the shading part. And I pretty much bought this pen because I was curious to see how a cream style formula will perform under my eyes compared to like the powder and liquid eyeshadows. As you guys can tell from the makeup looks I do in this channel, I really love putting on those bright sparkly shades under my eyes for that brightening effect. But it's just that sometimes I find that the powders don't stay on too long or like the liquid eyeshadow version, like it takes a bit too long to dry so it's really awkward. I have to go like this to make sure it doesn't crease that much. So I was just like, let's just try a creamy stick formula. This contour pen comes in three different shades, so there's one warm tone, number two cool tone, and number three real. The one and two are the ones with the sparkly finish on the highlighting side, and then the real tone is supposed to look more natural, so it's a pretty much like a mass formula on the highlight side. And I wasn't really sure which shade to get because I do like the brightening shade of this one, but I don't like the contour color because I think it's a bit too warm on me. And although I prefer the color tone contour shades of the other pens, I still like this product overall, and it's really good. Next from Amazon, I bought this really huge cleansing water from the brand Bring Green, which is an Olive Young brand. So this is the Bring Green Tea Tree Sensitive Cleansing Water, and it's said to contain tea tree and Centelica Asiatica extract for sensitive skin people. The reason why I bought this cleansing water is because I'm looking to replace the one that I currently have, which is the Garnier one, which is running out soon, as you can see. But before investing in a micellar water I'd be using for like the next year, I decided to just look around my options on Amazon, and I saw that this one was only $9. Like, and I'm not sure why, but sometimes Green Green products on Amazon are discounted for a lot. So keep your eye out on any products you're interested in in case there's a huge price drop. I just checked the prices thing again, and I think this discount might only apply to Amazon Prime members, so just letting you guys know, it might not be $9 for you if you don't have Amazon Prime. So obviously $9 for this amount of product is a really good deal, so just to compare, this is 500 milliliters, and this Garnier one is 400, and I think that th this is like cheapest you can find it in CVS or something, it's like $9, 9 to 10, and this is just like 100 more milliliters for around the same price. Here's how the inside looks like, so it's pretty much a top dispense product, so you just pump it with a cotton pad and you can just like wipe whatever's on your face. I don't often wear full face of makeup, but for the few times I've tried this, I think that this does a great job removing all the makeup on my face compared to this one. And I also found that this didn't leave a greasy feeling after using it on my face like some micellar wads apparently do. One thing about this product is that it's because it's from an Olive Young brand, is that there aren't that many reviews about this on Amazon or anywhere else on YouTube. So I pretty much had to go on the original Olive Young Korean site and see what the review said about this cleansing water. And lastly from Amazon, if it wasn't obvious enough from the side of this video, I bought a curling iron. <laughs> and it's pretty much one of the cheaper options on Amazon, like $17.99. And the curling iron I bought is the one from Con Air, and it's 1.5 inches. I'm definitely not an expert at curling hair because as you can see from this look, I tried to do like, you know, I tried to do like one of those really natural looking wavy curl looks for videos and uh it looks kind of i think it looks kind of bad <laughs> so if my curls start to get messier throughout this video i'm sorry for that i just i'm just really bad at curling hair so i pretty much bought this curling iron because i've been getting those ads from fodana usa which is like a korean brand curling iron but those are really expensive like up to 100 dollars and i wanted to see if i could achieve the same look with this 1.5 inch one which is close to like 35 36 millimeters apparently and this specific curling iron had a lot more demos and reviews on youtube and amazon but i'm kind of scared because some of the reviews claim that this stopped working after a while so i hope that doesn't happen to me <laughs> i've only owned one curling iron in my life so i don't know if this is like a really good or bad curling iron so i'll just see how it goes in the future and i'll try to get better at curling my hair so i can get those wavy looks all right, and now the time to show you guys what I got from YesStyle. So I've actually been waiting for this order since like February 15th. And because of the products I ordered, I had to wait like almost a month to receive them. I pretty much received my YesStyle package on Monday, which is why I'm doing this combined haul video for you guys. Now that I think about it, I think this is pretty much an etude haul from YesStyle. The first thing I have is this, which is their tiger themed jelly dewy tint in the shade Sleepy Tiger. Then I have the Syrup Glossy Balm from the Winter Checkered Collection. I also grabbed one of the New York products I just released in Korea, and that's this, which is the Playtone Eye Palette. And because it's the Year of the Tiger, I got this new iPhone case. And as a freebie, YesStyle also added in this 
um, Etude House Magic Lip Lacquer in the shade Red 303. So here's how the Jelly Dewy Tint looks like up close. And as you can see, it has a really cute tiger print because it's You're the Tiger. And this tint comes in two shades. The other one is Warm Tone and this is their Cold Tone version. I've been using this tint throughout the week and I really like the formula of it. It's like really lightweight and it stains for a really long time. Like I'm not joking, like this is a really good stain. For some reason when I first opened it, I thought that the wand looked kind of weird. So let me swatch it for you guys. As you can see, it's really lightweight and sheer. Okay, but one thing I must know is that this thing really stains for a long time. So I did swatch my hand on Monday and then and I pretty much had this pink stain on my hand for like a long time. So be careful of that, guys. I'm not sure why the tint stains so much on my skin. I feel like this is the first time I've ever had a lip tint that has done something like this before. So if you're someone who's wary of lip tints of really, really <laughs> strong lasting power, then you might not like this one. And here's how the Tiger Energy Jelly Dewy Tint looks like on my lips, and I really love the finish of it. And I should also mention that these products don't have any overpowering scent or taste to them. Here's the Etude Syrup Glossy Balm in the shade number 9 Red Checkered, and it's also part of the Winter Collection that I did review on this channel. If you did see my review on the Etude Holiday Collection, I did mention that I couldn't find this on the site I bought the other stuff. So because Yes Dial seems to be the only site that has this lip product from the Holly Collection, I decided to just add it to my cart for like completionist sake. When I first tried it, I wasn't really that impressed by it. it actually kind of like disappointed me a little bit. So I'll try it on for you guys right now. According to the description of this product, it's supposed to be a sparkling elastic glossy balm that softly melts in the lips like syrup upon contact. And I guess that is kind of true because it is really sticky and glossy like syrup. And this is just the holiday packaging of this product. They do have the syrup balm in other colors. And there it is all dispensed. So let me swatch it on my hand for you guys. And this is kind of bright cherry red. It's really glossy. I wasn't really paying attention when I did the hand swatch, so I forgot how soft this formulation pretty much is. Like pretty much after that one swatch, the product has become like misshapen like this, just because of how soft it is compared to like an actual lip balm. This will be the second time I try this product on my lips, so let's see if my first impression still holds. So this is how the syrup gloss balm looks like on my lips. As I was applying this lip balm, I still had the same thoughts I did the first time I tried it. I find this formula pretty thick, so it didn't really give me much of a smooth application, so it felt kind of awkward at times applying it. And I don't know, I feel like this is just a lip product I don't see myself using a lot. So I think that this syrup gloss balm might be more of a miss for me, which I'm kind of disappointed about because I finally have the whole holiday collection together, and I liked everything else, and this is just like the one product that isn't working for me. I will say that this lip balm does deliver on its claims of leaving a syrup glossy like finish like as you can see i think it looks good after application i'm not sure about the lasting power of this product but it does really look good on camera right <laughs> plus i don't really have a heavy sticky feeling on my lips so just to summarize i did like the look and finish of this product it's just that applying it on your lips feels kind of awkward and weird and for this freebie from etu which is the matte chic lip lacquer uh, just a quick review um i didn't like it just because i don't this is not my type of product i don't like really strong matte products and also this is a really bright red which i don't really wear at all so that's that and now for the product i was really excited to try out and own myself and then that is this the playtone eye palette in the shade nude milk tea this palette is one of Etude's recent releases, so because it was so new, yes, I didn't even have it in a stock, so I had to wait 21 days for it to arrive. At first, I thought you could only buy this product in olivebeyond.com just because in Korea, it is an Olive Young exclusive item, but pretty much every other Korean beauty site carried this product. And the prices among each side definitely vary, so on Yes Style, I got this for 28 and apparently for the full price, they're, they're charging like $40 for this. As of now, I think the site can get this at a cheaper price is definitely on jose.com bec just because like they usually have a lot of flash sales for Etude, like even up to 60% off. So if you're interested in buying this product, I would say to expect it to be at least $25 if you find it. This palette is also available in three other versions and I pretty much found myself gearing towards this one because of the name and that is Nude Milk Tea. And as you guys can tell, that is um, pretty much my thing. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm just such a sucker when it comes to makeup products that are themed after milk tea or boba. So after seeing this color story and how it's like all based on milk tea colors, I just couldn't resist. Despite the price of this palette being above what I would usually pay for, I have to say that this is a pretty good eyeshadow palette in itself. Because as you can see here, it's a really good balance of mattes, shimmers, and glitters. It even comes with a blush shade too that could also work as an eyeshadow. I'm just going to attempt to do live swatches right now on my arm for you guys. So here's the first shade, Nude Cream. 
and it is this shimmery shade good for under eyes next we have the matte in the middle and this is called ginger beige and next we have this glitter which is called sweet milk tea this is a really good topping shade it's not showing up that well i don't have anything on my arm but just trust me when i use this shade later on it's gonna look so good on my eyes <laughs> next we have this really gorgeous shade and it swatches so much it's really pigmented guys it's called dalgona with toppings see how bright that is and that was just one swatch over here we have this milk tea colored matte shade it looks like this really pigmented and here's your usual dark brown shade rich milk tea Ooh. <laughs> i'm so impressed by the mattes in this palette they just go on so smoothly and finally we have the multi cheek shade of this palette and that's called warm milk tea and i don't know if you guys can see it here but it's actually small pearl particles in it so this is how each shade of the palette looks like on my arm really impressive i have to say I really like the neutral shade of this palette because you can pull off some pretty versatile looks. So with these matte shades, you can do a really simple daily look or you can add this Dalgona shade for extra glam. And now for the fun part of this video, I'm going to show you guys one look using this palette. First as a base, I'm going to take the lightest matte shade, Ginger Beige, and use this fluffy brush to put it all over my lid and blend it out to the brow bone. Next, I'm mixing these two matte shades in the middle for my lower eyelid. With the shade Blending Milk Tea, I'm just going to put some on top of my outer corners. Because I'm not really good at applying eyeshadow like this, I'm just using this blending brush to soften the edges I think are too harsh. And for the best part, I'm applying Dalgona with toppings onto the rest of my upper eyelid. Really love how much this shade pops. Using the sheer glitter shade Sweet Milk Tea, I'm just going to apply that on the middle and inner corners of my eyes. And lastly, I'll just use Rich Milk Tea to add some depth at the tail end of my eye and triangle zone. Time to use this Ego Cell pen. When it comes to doing Ego Cell, you generally want to not go past the middle of your eye, like I am right here. Um, so I have to appear by switching up the oil application. You're actually supposed to draw the contour line before filling in the gap with the highlight shade, so sorry about that. It's also important to blend the line you just drew so it doesn't look too unnatural, but that's just my preference. Here I'm trying to show you guys how my eyes look like with and without Ego Cell. Looking back, it's kind of hard to differentiate because of my dark under eye circles, which is why in this shot, I use foundation to make the Ego Cell show up more on camera. And so here's how both of my eyes look like with makeup on. I went ahead to apply foundation all over my face off camera so I could show off the blush shade of this palette. It is pretty powdery based on how much is falling off from the pan. So this is how the blush shade looks like on my cheeks and as you can see it's a really neutral beige perfect for daily looks i swear today there are so many planes flying over my house and disrupting my filming and there you have it that was my small try on haul from stuff i recently bought from amazon and yes style i hope you guys enjoyed it this is my first time filming a video like this where i just try on and review a bunch of products all together and it was pretty fun surprisingly my curls are still in shape even though they're kind of dying if you were interested in any of the products I talked about today, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below so you can check it out yourselves. Um, it'll, I'll, it's not an code, don't worry. I'm not going to make any commission. And as always, don't forget to click on the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. I have a drama to watch that I've been waiting for, so bye! <laughs>